on the previous episode of Talk That Talk. I haven't touched on that I think what's super important to us as HBCU graduates in the band world is how important the death of Robert Champion was to True. black band culture. Yeah. Like, to me, and I'm sure y'all have opinions on this, but that young brother being murdered senselessly for some bus mask completely changed what HB, the HBCU band landscape looks like, both for the best, better, but also for the worst. And Julian, you and I have this conversation all the time. Before Robert Champion's death, there were numerous bands that people held at the pinnacle, like FAMU, Southern, Jackson, Norfolk, um, Bethune-Cookman. You know, there were all these different bands, Tennessee State, you know, like all these bands that everybody was looking at. And then after Robert Champion and Fab died, I feel like there were only like one or two bands that people were looking at as like the pinnacle, maybe even three. And in my opinion, that was Southern and Bethune Cookman. You know, Bethune Cookman was the sound, Southern was the energy and the excitement and the, you know, and and the projection. And then you had Norfolk. We stayed in our own lane. We did our own thing. You know, we never tried to be in any other bands, but then it, it filtered everybody into those categories. So either you sound like this one band or this other. And I think that, honestly, that is, to me, the negative side, like Maya was saying earlier with the dancers, is that it, it made everybody start doing the same things. And I think that was what all the pushback was at PV when we first got there, because we said... We're not trying to be that band. We're not trying to be that band. We're trying to be us. And the way we ran rehearsals was different. Like when we were in the band at Norfolk State, we never did a true warm up. We played that E flat scale. We maybe played a um, E flat chord. <laughs> we maybe played a scale or two. And then we went in that fight song and we was off and going. That was the warm up. At PV, you know, I was spending 35, 45 minutes working on fundamentals. And the band hated it. But it completely changed the sound of the band. And, you know, they I don't know if they do that uh, as much now, but I know for a fact they still work on fundamentals and stuff like that. And that is the reason why PV's band sounds better than most bands in the country. Not HBCU in the country. You know, do, do they have their faults? Yes. Every band in this country has their fault. My band has their faults. The best, whatever band you consider to be the best, um, get those of you listening, those bands have faults, but I think the death of that young brother really changed our activity and it got a lot of the riffraff out, but it also really affected the culture in a, in a way that I don't think we ever going to go back to.